This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. We're here at the Natural Products Expo West here in Anaheim, California. This is the largest annual trade show for the health food industry. And I'm here today because I'm walking the show to find out the latest in health and health products. So what I want you guys to remember is that this is about the uh, trade show for the business of health. It doesn't mean it's about health. There's many products that are, you know, going to be sold soon at your health food store that, you know, while you may think they're healthy, they're not about true health. But what I'm going to do today is speak at one of the exhibitor booths that is selling products that can get you a lot healthier in my opinion. So anyways, next let's go ahead and go inside and I'll show you some of the products that this uh, exhibitor is offering today. So there's literally hundreds and hundreds of booths here and you know, I'm only speaking at the booth that I think has really good products that I can support. And I'll be speaking at today at actually at the Trivez booth, which is right ahead. And they make products that make healthy living easy, which means they make products that allow you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. And that's what I think is the best foods overall, over all any other foods that are, you know, in packages, bottles and jars here. So what we're going to do next, actually, we're going to go into the Tribes booth and I'm going to share with you some of their new products that are going to come out real soon. Some of the new products you can look forward to from Tribes are number one right here. This is actually the all new DynaBlend blender. Now the DynaBlend blender is a 1.1 peak horsepower blender, so it's nice and powerful. And the main thing about it is that it has a glass carafe, so no longer do you need to use a plastic carafe, you can have a powerful blender with a glass craft and this is the most powerful blender that I have found that has the glass container. So I'm happy that Tribest will soon be offering this. Now this probably will not be available for about another three months uh, or thereabouts. Now the retail price of this will be under $200 which is good but more importantly I like some of the features that this blender has available. Some of the features that make this unique are, number one, you have a variable speed control, much like the uh, volume control on your TV. You could dial it down to go slow or all the way up to the top to go high. So this is really cool in itself. But in addition, you have some pre-programmed features. So yes, this is computer controlled. You can hit the 60 second blend button and that'll blend high for 60 seconds and then turn itself off automatically so you do not have to babysit your blender. You then have a 60 second combo mode which will vary the speed intensity from high to low to uh, help get a better blend for 60 seconds and then turn itself off. And you have the all new revolutionary 30 second pulse blend. Now the pulse blend feature is the one that I like the most because this is the feature specifically for people that want to make green smoothies and I know no other blender on the market that has been designed to do that because I consulted with the company to ensure that that cycle is going to do the green smoothies the best. So you're going to want to blend your green smoothies with your liquids and your greens first on one of the other blends, maybe like high speed for 30 seconds. Then you're going to go ahead and turn the blender off. You're going to add some bananas and then hit the pulse blend button. And then that's just going to blend your bananas just enough to get them blended without over blending. Over blending your bananas may cause your uh, green smoothie to taste nasty and also cause extra oxidation to your bananas which lowers the nutrition but with the new pulse blend feature it's going to come out perfect every single time. I want to show you guys one more new item that's going to be soon out by Tribest before actually I got to get into the talk that I'm giving here today. So the next product that I want to share with you guys that's all new at Tribest is these guys right here. Now this may to you look like the old Sedona dehydrator but this is the brand new Sedona combo dehydrator so basically this is the same as the old ones. If you got the old one, this is not much different. But there are a few new things they have improved on in the brand new Sedona combo, and let me show those to you. First, as you can see, there's a nice stainless steel handle. We can go ahead and open the door, which opens the same way as the old one. Next, they have this part down here, and this is the uh, drip tray. So one of the challenges I had with my own personal Sedona dehydrator that I use in my home is that always the crumbs will drip on the bottom, and it's kind of very difficult to uh, clean. So I suggested they make a drip tray. So now they have a drip tray that comes with a new combo model and will be available at some point separately for the current model. So I like the drip tray a lot. Another thing they've changed with the brand new Sedona combo unit is that they have all new trays. So one of the challenges that I have had personally with my Sedona unit is that the, uh, the, the mesh that sits on top of the tray screen actually would fold up and curl up and this kind of makes things kind of messy. So now they have a one-piece tray, which is uh, integrated and reinforced, so it's much stronger. 
with the hole. So that's, uh, you know, nice that they're doing this now in a one piece. Also, there's a center hole in here, which is going to allow for better air circulation. And another thing you guys can't see on the videos, uh, inside the machine, they have different air baffles that are directing the air uh, to be more efficient on the inside of the machine. So you're going get to get a more even drying. Another thing that's very nice in the inside of the combo unit here, I don't know if you can see that there, is a little LED light. So this is an energy efficient light. So now when you open the door of your Sedona combo unit, you can actually see what's going on and what has been dehydrated. So those are the major uh, design changes. Now there has been some other minor changes as well. And let me go ahead and show that to you guys. Now the control panel is pretty much the same on the original Sedona. You know, you got your uh, set temperature. You can select it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you got a count time timer so that it'll turn itself off automatically. These are the buttons to set the timer and the temperature, and you have a tray button. What the tray button does, it allows you to only use half, the top half of the dehydrator or the bottom half or the full thing. So if you don't fill up your dehydrator, you could run only the heating element on the top, which is gonna save you 50% of the electricity. In addition, they have this, which is the new one. This is the new button here, it's the uh, mode, and it has a fast and a raw mode. The old Sedona dehydrator had only a, a night mode and a day mode. So the night mode ran at a slow fan speed, so it would take longer to dehydrate, but it would be a lot quieter. And the uh, day mode ran it at full speed, so you'd be able to dehydrate quicker. Now the all new Sedona combo deleted that feature, but what they have now is even more impressive and even more useful uh, for people into raw foods in my opinion. So let me go ahead and explain that. On the fast mode here, this works with no temperature ceiling. So what that means, it's going to be, it's going to work more like the Excalibur dehydrator. The original Sedona, if you set it at 118 degrees, it will never exceed 118 degrees to assure you that your food will remain quote unquote raw with enzymatic activity. Now the fast mode, if you set it at 118, it'll, the Sedona dehydrator will now peak above 118 degrees and then below it because that's how the dehydrator works kind of like your, you know, your heater in your house when you set it to 70 degrees. Sometimes it goes up and goes a little bit hotter than it turns off and whatnot. So this is a good feature to uh, decrease the dehydration time. Now the extra added benefit is the other mode that's on this machine, the raw mode. So the raw mode works just like the original Sedona, which means if you set it at 118 degrees, it will not exceed that. Now the other, the newest cool feature, and this is going to be very important for people into raw foods, is an automatic feature which allows you to use combine both the fast and the raw mode so what this is going to do you could say for example set the fast and raw mode by hitting the mode button by hitting the mode button there's the fast mode there's the raw mode and then now we have it both lit up fast and raw mode so what this allows you to do is you could now set the fast mode to say i want to run the dehydrator at 140 degrees for the first two hours because you just put fresh picked from your garden tomatoes that you cut into little pieces in your dehydrator. Now you can run the dehydrator for the first two hours at 140 degrees, which is above 118, and don't worry, you're not gonna degrade all the enzymes because there's still so much water weight in your fresh tomatoes that have, are dripping with juice because you grew them in your garden, they're so fresh and delicious. So you're gonna run the dehydrator at 140 degrees for the first two hours, and then you could drop that temperature down to 118 degrees for the rest of the time. Because in the first two hours, because it is so moist, it's gonna help evaporate that moisture off faster so that your dehydration times will be that much shorter. So this is an automatic mode that you can choose the two temperature and uh, two time. So you could set it at 150 for one hour and then 118 for 17 hours. You could set it for you know 170 degrees for the first three hours and then 118 degrees for 20 hours. Whatever you wanna do, I recommend you maybe set it at like 140, 150 for the first two hours and then drop it down to 118 for the rest of the time. So with this feature of the Sedona Combo a dehydrator, I think that's definitely a benefit to people into raw foods and can decrease your dehydration times, saving you time and uh, ensuring your product's raw and ensuring you're gonna have your product done that much quicker. In any case, actually, my talk is up next, so I gotta go over and get my talk, so I'm gonna give you guys a special clip and share with you my talk today on the Green Star Elite Juicer. Hello everyone. Today I'll be uh, talking about making your own fresh juices at home. One of the principles I like to use in my life is the principle of good, better, best. Of course, we all know that drinking any of the you know manufactured juices in packages here, like the Odwallas or other things, are far better than drinking a Coke or you know soda. But then you can take it to the next level and have some of the HPP juices or high-pressure pascalization. 
and actually that is like the Evolution brand and some of their brands that they're now making the Blueprint brand. So that uses low temperatures to pasteurize, but even far better than that is to make your own fresh juices at home with your own juicer. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can actually start growing your own greens and other foods in your house to grow the highest nutrient density foods that you can then take inside and juice with your own juicer, such as the Green Star Elite juicer we have right here. In addition, you know, along with the good, better, best principles, there's many different kinds of juices on the market. You may have seen some of them on the infomercial on TV, and you know, in my opinion, the kind shown on the TV are maybe the, you know, the good kind of juicer. But if you want the best, this is it, because it runs at a low RPM. So this is a slow juicer, runs at 110 RPMs, plus this will extract more juice out of things like carrots than other juicers on the market. In addition, due to some of the technology in here with these twin gears that runs at a low speed, you're going to get literally a three-stage juicing. So unlike many juicers that have one stage that literally shred and uh, kick out the pulp and the juice, this has three unique stages. Number one is this set of the gears here. It's the crushing stage. The produce that you put in that will be juicing in a second will be crushed between these two stainless steel augers and then the uh, pulp is then mixed in this little section here of the uh, gears. Now this is an all BPA free juicer right here. This is the mixing set of the gears. So the, the, the ground up pulp is then mixed. So this may help with uh, you know getting more enzymes and more nutrients out of the juice. And then finally you have the last stage here which is the pressing. So this is a three stage juicer is really efficient at especially things like the vegetables, like the carrots and other hard vegetables, really excellent at the uh, things like celery. Some juicers, you will need to actually pre-cut your celery into small eighth-inch pieces before you feed it into the juicer or the juicer will clog. Due to the special design of this, there's this little uh, recess here and this acts like, you know, like our teeth in our mouth to actually chop up all the strings of the celery. And I'll show you that in a minute once I juice. You'll see this, there'll be no leftover identifiable cel celery strings. There'll be all little pieces that were chopped up by the juicer. Now that's the juicer doing its job to basically fractionate and separate the pulp from the fiber. And it's the juice of the fiber that feeds you. That's what Jay Cordes, the juice man, taught me back in the 1990s when I first got into juicing. And you know, that still holds true today. I mean, no matter what we're eating in life, you know, Hopefully you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. We want to chew our food really well. Why do they make baby food and you know it's already just a mush? Because babies don't have teeth, but we have teeth, so we're supposed to use our teeth and every mouthful we're supposed to chew into a mush to get the optimal digestion. The problem is most people in this day and age don't have the time to sit and chew 50, 100 times per mouthful to make their food into a mush. So the solution is we could all just start eating baby food again. Then we don't have to chew our food in a bunch. Well, my solution is a little better. I, I like to use the juicer to basically separate the juice and the fiber. Basically, you know, we are nothing more or less than juice extractors if you think about it. We're going to eat that, you know, piece of celery here and out the front end comes a liquid and our bodies are only able to extract nutrients out of a liquid and then out the back end of us comes the fiber. And so when we use the juicer to do this process, we're breaking down the produce into its most digestible state so that we can literally just drink the liquid, let our bodies go instantly to work and absorb the nutrition out of that. And some people say within 30 minutes of drinking a fresh juice, you're going to have you know the nutrition out of that juice in your bloodstream. So that's like the quickest energy shot you'll ever get. And once again, these are fresh fruits and fresh vegetables with all the things that nature provided in there, including the phytochemicals, the phytonutrients, antioxidants, and vitamins and minerals, and all the natural sugars found in the fruits and vegetables. So uh, what we're gonna use today is the Green Star Lead Juicer. It's uh, just a few parts you need to assemble. The most important thing is when you do take these twin gears, you need to line up the little uh, dots on the twin gears. There's two dots on this one dot on this one you want to make a little triangle out of it to make sure they're lined up otherwise if you stick them in any haphazard way you may do damage to the machine so we're going to stick that in there the next thing we're going to put on is the uh, juicing screen so the juicing screen is a very important part of any juicer basically the larger the holes in the juice or the more pulp you're going to get in the juice i like the green star league because they have fairly a uh, small hole size 
So this is going to mean you're going to get a fairly pulp-free juice, although some people still prefer to strain the juice after they're done making it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. Finally, what's really important on the Green Star Lead, unlike many other machines, they have this uh, part right here. This is called the outlet adjusting knob, and this has a spring tension. So what this spring does, this keeps pressure on the pulp in there and does not let it out until it basically compresses the spring tension, which takes a lot of pressure to do that, and then it finally lets the dry pulp out. So this means more of your juice is going to go into your juice collection cup and into your body instead of out with the fiber, uh, you know, as the waste side. So many other juicers may leave a fairly dry pulp. In my tests, standard centrifugal ejection juicers, which are the most popular on the market, uh, leave up to 33% more juice in the pulp that can be ex Extracted with something like a, a press, a commercial juicing press. So we're going to go ahead and screw this guy all the way in so that we keep the pressure on the pulp so that we'll get the most juice out with the driest pulp. Next we're going to assemble this guy, just uh, snap it back nice and simple. Put the top on and now we're all ready to juice. So once you turn this on, you're going to notice this is fairly quiet. I have had people say, hey John, that juicer sounds like an airplane taking off my kitchen because some juicers run at 11,000 RPMs or revolutions per minute and they get really loud. This is really quiet. So if you do need to juice in the morning, you know you have family members or roommates asleep, you know you will not disturb them with this machine. One of the things I like about this machine because it is a uh, twin auger juicer, it literally sucks the uh, produce out of my hand into the juices so we can take a piece of uh, um, collard leaves and you can just see it just literally get sucked in so you know there's no uh, pressure needed to feed this in. Another thing that's very popular these days is to juice the wheatgrass so many people might buy powdered wheatgrass but you know I like to say freshest is always bestest so we have the wheatgrass here and one of the nice things about this is you can just feed some of the wheatgrass in and it literally sucks it right through. So this is called the Green Star Lead Juicer, and it's designed for juicing greens and other vegetables. Of course, we can't forget about the other vegetables, the carrot, powerhouse of nutrition, rich in uh, carotenoids, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, slice this up. I like to slice these guys up the long way when uh, using the Green Star Lead Juicer. And one of the things about this is that you will need to use the pusher to push this between the two twin gears. Unlike the leaves that get sucked in, this does take some downward strength, so if you're you may be older, have some uh, problems with arthritis and whatnot, this may not be the right juicer for you. So now we got the uh, carrots and the greens in there, and of course one of the things that you also need to do when juicing, or what, what I recommend to do, is you want to juice something like some apples, especially if you're not hardcore and uh, you know used to drinking straight you know, green juices, which can be really strong and detoxifying. I definitely always recommend adding some apples to that to make it a little bit sweeter and more palatable. This is especially important if you have kids. Kids won't drink straight green juices, but you know what? If you juice all apples and you juice like two leaves of, of uh, Swiss chard or collard greens, you know, they're just going to taste the apple. It's going to be a nice green color and they're going to at least get two leaves in their body. Hopefully you guys are getting much more. Uh, my goal every day is to get two pounds of leafy greens into my body. You might be thinking, Joe, that's a lot of leafy greens, man. How do you eat all that stuff? You know, is your stomach even large enough to hold two pounds of leafy greens? Well, you know, I, I like to say I cheat. What I like to do is, you know, I like to maybe juice one pound of leafy greens and one pound of these delicious leafy greens, which are the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, which have the least amount of calories, but the most nutrition, unlike fast food or junk food, which is high calories, low nutrients. You know, according to Andy Scale by Dr. Joel Furman, Eat to Live, excellent book if you haven't read that. These have the most nutrition. So what I like to do is take away the fiber because we're not designed to digest fiber like cows or other herbivores, true herbivores are. So what I like to do is run one pound of leafy greens through my juicer. It'll condense down to, depending on the juicer, between a cup and a cup and a quarter of juice. And everybody could drink a cup of green juice, especially when it's diluted with something like apples. And that way I got one pound in me and then maybe the, the rest of the day I might eat a half a pound of salad and maybe a half pound blend it up in my blender into a green smoothie or some days I'll eat a one pound salad at night. So that way I easily got two pounds of leafy greens and getting far more of these phytochemicals and phytonutrients. I mean some of the things in the brassica family plants like the uh, greens we're looking here are things that may help with preventing cancer and other things and these are the protective properties that many of 
which are discovered, but many of which are still not discovered. And I don't want to wait until they're discovered to learn about some of these cool things that could really help us be like anti-aging and have the best health ever. So I just want to get them in my body. You can see some lag in here on the juicing. Uh, but even, yes, you can put the, um, the peel, the skin, and all of the apples, and yes, even the apple seeds. Now, some people say, John, the apple seeds contain some cyanide in there, and absolutely true. But, you know, I'm not sitting there eating only apple seeds all day. You know, I have one whole apple, and there's like a couple seeds. And yes, this juice is so efficient that we won't even see the seeds come out whole. And, you know, some people say there's things like B17 or Laetrile in something like apricot seeds. And yes, there may be even some of that in small amounts in the apple seeds. So that's why I enjoy putting it through my juicer to get some of those nutrients that are in the seed into my juice in small, minute quantities. I'm not saying like go crazy and juice straight apple seeds. No, I'm saying juice the apples with the whole food as found in nature and you'll get all the beneficial properties that there should be that many people are processing out of the foods in this day and age. Another cool thing to use in your juices is this. This is actually a lemon, but this is not any lemon. This is actually called a Meyer lemon. So this Meyer lemon, a little bit sweeter than the standard lemon and I like to add those to my juice as well. If we pick up this pulp here, we can definitely see this pulp. I mean, I can't even wring this out and I cannot get any more juice out of it. This is really bone dry. So that's one of the benefits of the Green Star Lee Juicer. It gets your pulp bone dry. Many other juices on the market will not get it this dry. But of course, you know, this machine is called the Green Star Lee Juicer. It's best for juicing greens and other vegetables. They also have a Fruit Star Juicer. If you do want to juice more fruits, this machine is not recommended for juicing mostly fruit. It's recommended for juicing mostly the green vegetables and also the hard vegetables in which it's going to do an amazing job like you're seeing here. And let's go ahead and run that celery through like I talked about earlier and let's see that there's no leftover celery strands. I mean one of the issues with celery that I don't like is when I'm eating celery these long strings get stuck in my teeth and that's not fun. And this actually these strings are the very strings that can also clog up other juicers but not in the Green Star Lee juicer. It doesn't even blink an eye put the celery in here and we're not even going to see any leftover strings coming out the other end. So as you notice, you know, here's some uh, kale here with some spinach. we we'll put that right in the machine as well. I am rotating the produce that I'm putting through the machine. I'm not just putting all apples, all carrots, all the greens. I'm putting one leaf of kale, one leaf of collard greens, a little bit of, you know, uh, carrots and some celery and then some apple to give the uh, juice or different textures because that's the way it's going to work the best. Let's go add another carrot. I really like to add carrots to my juice and besides just getting the standard orange carrots, I also encourage you guys to juice the heirloom carrots if you guys can find them or if you guys are growing them yourself. The carrots were originally in nature not orange actually. There are many different colors. White, black, red, orange and you can find heirloom carrots uh, sometimes at your farmer's market and certain health food stores will also sell the heirloom carrots and foods of every different color have different levels of phytochemicals and phytonutrients and antioxidants we want to include all the different foods of the color and try not to discriminate against any color food so as you can see here my trained eyes could uh, pick out some of the celery here this is selling the some of the celery uh, strings that's now like literally broken down to like maybe like I don't know two centimeter pieces of that but this, once again, this pulp is really dry, extracted all the nutrition out of the vegetables we threw out the Green Star Elite Juicer today. Now, if you thought juicing was really good, you know, one of the things I also want you guys to focus on is making dietary changes and eating more plants in your diet. And one of the mottos of Tribest is making healthy living easy. And they do this in many ways besides allowing you to juice. This machine will also allow you to make your own things like fresh nut butters at home using your own raw or your own roasted nuts instead of buying a pre-packaged product. One of the things I like to do most with this machine besides making the juices is making uh, fruit sorbets or what some people would call banana ice cream. And what this is simply is it's 100% bananas put through the machine that comes out in like a soft serve type consistency. So this is a great way to include more fresh fruits in your diet instead of, you know, the ice creams that may have the uh, carrageenan and corn syrup and all these other additives. Because what we really want to do, getting back to nature, into this whole health food movement, is just getting back to eat real foods that you grew in your garden or hopefully at least uh, organic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quickly and easily change this machine out. 
And look at all that juice I made here. We'll sample some out for you guys. We're going to change this machine out to uh, uh, set up to do the sorbets next. So the next thing we're going to do is actually we're going to use the Green Star Elite in a non-juicing way. We're going to make fresh fruit sorbets. It's going to work really well. Now the main difference between setting this up for juicing and setting this up to make sorbets is very simply just one little part here. We're going to go ahead and take this apart and show you guys. We have what's here is called the blank plate. So this is a solid plate instead of this one would normally have the uh, holes to let the juice out. But when it's a blank, this machine basically works to crush up or homogenize everything and then send it out of the front of the machine. So this will take things that are very texturous, like frozen vegetables, and make it into more of a sorbet or you know broken down. So it's gonna be a lot more tasty. So let's go ahead and uh, reassemble this guy real quick. Put the top on. And now we're just gonna go ahead and use some frozen uh, fruits to make some sorbets. So what we have here, we have some uh, frozen bananas. So this is the most popular thing and the least expensive thing you can make in the Green Star Lead Juicer. As you know, you go to the local uh, grocery store, they sell the overripe bananas in the little bags for like half price, maybe even pennies on the dollar sometimes. You buy those when they're really ripe, you peel them, you uh, put them in a Ziploc bag or a glass bowl in your freezer. You freeze them rock hard. These guys are rock hard, very important. They can't be kind of thawed out. And then you're just basically gonna stick it through the machine, push that down with a pusher right into the machine. And in a second, you're gonna see coming out this one side, you're gonna see the uh, sorbet coming out right the front. There it is. There it is. <laughs> In addition, sometimes I like to cheat and I don't want to have to buy, you know, where uh, ripe bananas, I could just buy pre-frozen fruits. So I recommend you use 100% fruit. Sometimes they add things and sugars to fruit. I like to go to Trader Joe's and they actually Trader Joe's has some really good uh, frozen mangoes. So this makes it really easy. Just pour some of these frozen mangoes through there that have a nice texture. This uh, green star leaf will break up the texture and make it more like a sorbet. So now what we have here is we have Banana mango sorbet, 100%. In addition, if you want to add some antioxidants, feel free to add something like the uh, frozen blueberries in there. And that'll also make a nice, pretty purple color. Whoa, lots of blueberries. I wouldn't necessarily make a sorbet out of uh, straight blueberries because that's not super sweet. And of course, we got another. Uh, frozen fruit here, my favorite, the pineapple. And you know, feel free to let your imagination be the guide with all these different fruits in general. I like to use like one or two types. I might use pineapple blueberry or banana blueberry. I normally wouldn't mix like all these different kinds, but you know what, if that's what you want to do, that's great. This is especially important if you have kids, you want to get them involved with making the food because when the kids actually make the food and you're, you ask the kids, hey, what do you want to put in there? Then they're kind of more invested in what they're making and then they're going to be more apt to eat it and enjoy it because, you know, they made it and they came up with the recipe. And that's what you can do with the Green Star Lead Juicer. You get to make up the recipes, whether you're making a juice, whether you're making a frozen fruit sorbet like this. And look at that beautiful color on here, right? the blueberries coming out there. At the end there, we got the blueberry pineapple stuff coming right out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this out to you guys for sampling. And uh, once again, I want to remind you guys that with the Green Star Lead Juicer, you can not only make your juices, you can not only make things like fruit sorbets, the nut butters, but it's going to allow you to make healthy living easier by including more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables in your diet. And that's what I really want you guys to do because that's what I have found to be the healthiest diet on earth is including more of the fresh fruits and the fresh vegetables and minimizing all the other processed foods, animal foods, and trying to minimize that stuff out of your diet. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode learning more about the Green Star Elite and how versatile it is. Now I just showed you guys how to make a vegetable juice and the frozen fruits are based, but it can do oh so much more. So once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.